Hello, my name is Marius Hadjipavlou and together with the first author, Niku Azimina, we will be presenting our systematic review on vaccines for the prevention of recurrent urinary tract infection. On behalf of all authors, we would like to thank the British Journal of Urology International for selecting our paper as an article of the week for the May 2019 issue. UTIs pose a significant disease burden worldwide, accounting for almost a fifth of healthcare-associated infections in Europe. Adult women are disproportionately affected, with 10% reporting at least one suspected UTI per year, of whom 20 to 40% experience recurrent infection. Antimicrobial resistance is a growing public health issue. Resistance to the first line antibiotic agent used in the UK, trimethoprim, has been reported as greater than 20%, while resistance to cotrimoxazole, a commonly used antibiotic worldwide, has been reported as high as 64% in some developing countries. In light of these issues, it is the duty of all healthcare professionals to move towards prevention, and so vaccines have become an important focus for the management of recurrent UTIs. We have conducted a systematic review of all randomized controlled trials assessing uropathogen-based candidate vaccines versus placebo in adults with a history of recurrent UTIs in terms of efficacy and safety. Overall, we identified 10 papers presenting data on these outcome measures, of which six assessed Eurovaxum, three assessed Eurovac, and one assessed the xpec 4 v Overall, at trial endpoint, the use of vaccines appears to reduce UTI recurrence compared with placebo. Subgroup analysis of Eurovax on papers appeared to show greatest reduction in UTI recurrence at three months compared with six months post vaccination. All three Eurovax studies used three populations and appeared to show reduced UTI recurrence rate in patients receiving vaccine with booster as opposed to without. Please note one of these studies presented efficacy data from the two intervention groups cumulatively. Five studies reported on the incidence of adverse effects and overall no difference was seen in adverse effect incidence between the vaccine and placebo groups. Overall, the pooled results of all 10 RCTs found a statistically significant reduction in UTI recurrence rate at trial endpoint with vaccines. However, these results should be interpreted with caution. The heterogeneity of UTI definitions used, trial endpoints, eligibility criteria in each study and study protocols along with low quality of evidence scores, limited comparison. Furthermore, while one study claimed Eurovac had potential inducing an antibody response, it did not show any statistically significant data to support this claim, and indeed none of the other studies assessed vaccines according to immunological parameters. In conclusion, while there is emerging evidence for reduction of UTI recurrence with vaccines, further randomised controlled trials are required before any vaccines can be recommended for routine clinical use.